Hey, pretty people. So, yeah, I guess that looks okay. Um, what are you doing here? Why are you on YouTube? <laughs> Go play. No, um, I'm here to talk about art, actually. Um, yes, Marianne Williamson suspended her campaign. Go Kamala Harris. I hope that she can, um, well, publish the ERA for one thing and uh, stop the wars. That would be great. Uh, anyway, I am here to talk about AI art, and um, which is not just on the horizon or looming. It is here. It is everywhere. It is all over your feeds, and um, which inspired me to join some Facebook groups uh, focusing on vintage art and traditional art and um, kind of you know paints and messy art. Um, painting and drawing by people. Um, and I noticed that like, I'm in this group for fantasy art and I noticed that um, there's a lot of people posting book covers, but it looks kind of nicer when you post the, um, like if a print was offered or like, like without the, all the kind of uh, graphic design and, and, typing across it of the title and the author's name and the, you know, sometimes there's a review or something. Um, it's nice just to have a clean piece like the original or something that looks a bit like the original and um, which requires you to go and search for the cover and then um, look for the artist who did the cover. If you remember like a book you read that you bought because the cover was so beautiful and then you were like, yeah, <laughs> or sometimes you were like, wow, it really fits the cover. Um, but honestly, I think more often than not, like the, the don't judge a book by a cover is very true. And at the same time, we all do it. Um, which means that the artist's contribution to the book, to the product, is huge. Absolutely massive. So my political thing that I want to propose, legislate, is that I think that artists, it should be mandatory that they are credited on the cover. So all publishing houses should have to put the author's name and the cover artist's name on it as if they were an illustrator. And also, um, you know, n not only Amazon, which is kind of like the biggest online bookseller, but also like Wikipedia, which tends to do it more. Um, and, and any libraries of, you know, Library of Congress and um, eBay usually lets you zoom on the back of the cover because they have like photos of the whole thing from back and the spine and, you know, a couple of pages inside. So you can usually find through the scans where the cover artist was credited. But there's nothing to ensure like if um if an artist was hired on staff as part of a publishing company and they did a whole bunch of covers there's nothing to protect them to make sure that they were credited by name um i, I have seen some books where the cover art it says cover art by and then the company name cover art by bantam cover art by penguin which is not the artist <laughs> That's a corporation. Uh, so I, I don't count that as crediting the cover artist. And I think that the person who um, came up with, first of all, the idea and then executed it, like, you know, maybe the publisher had like a marketing team that was like, oh, I think we should put a bird on the cover. And then the artist said, oh, I know how to do a bird. Um, like both those names should be on it then. Concept by and then art by. Um, it, sh it should be printed on the actual jacket, uh, not just on the page with publication data. It should be on the cover. Um, I don't even know why it's on the back, actually. I think it should be on the front. So, um, yes, I think that should be actually required by law that um, all art, especially like, because, you know, artists are going to be competing with AI. Um, 
if they choose to do that, then they should definitely, definitely be credited. Um, as far as like, you know, someone being credited who, who spoke into the AI machine and said like, <clears throat> I want like a girl in a white dress standing in a field. I don't know if they should be credited, maybe. Um, but, you know, definitely if someone put blood, sweat and tears into a piece that then helped to sell the book and also influenced the way subliminally, the way that everyone imagined the characters, then I think that that has to be credited. Um prominently and in a way that's easy to find you know I, I, this is kind of a slightly self-serving thing in the sense that i've just been trying to post stuff and then trying to give the proper credit and um it's not always easy to find and sometimes you're you're just like scrolling and you end up down a rabbit hole and then you're looking at something else and, um oh they wrote that oh my gosh <laughs> and uh, it gets very very consuming which is why I'm slightly pie-eyed because I have been doing this for days anyway. Um, yes, I think that they should always, always, always be credited. And uh, I feel the same way about like music with the person who wrote the score or the melody. They should definitely always be credited quite prominently above and beyond like the producer or something like that. Anyway, um, okay, that's all I have to say for now. Bye.